What's going on guys? Today's video we're going to be changing out a seat cushion on a club car precedent. Uh, it's, the seat style is a 04 and up. This is the hardware kit that they give you with it. Uh, which these are the newer style hip restraints. Uh, this golf cart is a 2012. So if you have 04 and up, you don't need this kit here. Discard this packet. So we're just going to reuse the old bolts. Okay, this piece right here, we'll have to reuse this. This covers up all your staples from the seat cover. It was right here. I just pulled that off here before I started filming. So we're going to have to put that on the new seat. And all we're going to have to do is remove the four bolts on this hip restraint, the four bolts on that one, and we want to remove this hinge and this hinge because we're going to reuse that on our new seat cover, which is right here. It's a complete seat cushion. The holes are already pre-drilled and threaded, and you can see on the back side here, that's why we're going to reuse that piece, but it does come with a new front one. So just a matter of popping out a few staples and then we'll staple it onto our new one. So get my drill and we'll remove our bolts here for our hip restraints. All right, these bolts here, three eighths, and then our bolts for our hinges up front there where the seat tilts up is a seven sixteenths. So we'll use that on those. So we'll start off with these. Okay, there's our screws. Now I'll come over here and hit this one. Just set those off to the side. Our bolts. Now we'll switch our bit out to the 7 16 and we'll take off our hinge. Okay, that's all we need off this. Okay, we got the new seat up here on our horses. And when you look at it, the higher side is your front and the lower side is the back. So we'll get this flipped over. Okay, here we are. Now we'll start with our hinges. These will only go on one way. As you can see, there's three different uh, threads here. So I only go on just like that. Get our bolts. Yeah, these ones come over here, do the same thing. It's like part of that fabric sticking up right there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just tighten them down. All 
right, there's our hinges. Okay, so this would be our passenger side, and that's our driver's side. So looking at our strengths, that is the driver's side. And this one here, the larger one, is the passenger side. So it's the one that's going to go on this side, of course. And when you just set it there, as you can see, they don't line up perfectly. you got to hold it in as you're applying pressure when you tighten it up because the cushion's new and it needs to form into the actual wood that's on the seat here. So this is going to go in a good bit. Get this hole lined up. And do the same thing on the other end. I already got another bolt here in the drill ready to go. Back up here. Okay, put our other two in. to the other side and do that one okay all I did was just flip the seat over get this lined up apply some pressure in find the hole bolt started come down here and start one of these Looks like we're off a little bit, so I'm going to back some of these out. Just shift it a little bit. This one here is not lining up. I can add a little more. Okay, we got our staple gun ready to go, get our trim, and we'll just lay this on here, try to get it lined up. Looks pretty good there. Okay, now we'll go ahead and Run a staple through it. All right, we got our staples ran across here. Everything's all good to go. I'll flip it over, see what it looks like. All right, that's what it looks like when it's done. Both hip restraints are installed, got the hinges at the front, and we got our trim across the back. So, looks good, it's ready to be installed. And so if you have a club car precedent, I'll leave a link down below where you can get yourself a new cushion that will already come with the cover installed. Alright, well thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.